Hey YouTube, it's Flaming Printer here, and I am going to do a Let's Play of Pokemon Heart Gold again. Last time I tried this, I didn't make it very far before I quit, but this time I got some new software. My microphone still sucks, so my voice probably still sounds terrible, but I'm going to try my best and try to have some fun. Okay, so that was the intro to Pokemon Heart Gold, and now we're going to get started. I played Pokemon before, so I don't need any info. Huh? Was it... What? Is it that time already? That late? Oh no, I overslept. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? I am a boy. Yes. Oh, sorry. I did the wrong I am a boy. Yes. Please tell me your name. My name is Clean. Your name is Flaming? Yes. Flaming, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experience, difficult experiences, there's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Okay, sorry I had to pause there to fix controls. <laughs> so here we are in our room. Got a Wii. Wii is huge in Joker Who. There's a TV here. No shit. Uh, 
unlike older Pokemon games, you don't get to access your PC in here, you just get an email system. And you can read, Lyra message you, adventure, excited, I love Pokemon. So, we're gonna go ahead and head downstairs. And there's our mom. Hi, Flaming. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. This is your trainer card. Here you can save a record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. So, kind of interesting compared to other game Pokemon games, they keep the menu down on the bottom screen. And so you can always access your menu at any time. And you also can't get the menu right off the start. You have to come down here and talk to your mom before you can open a menu. So let's go outside. And Lyra's gonna stop us with her Meryl running into us. Because they're playing hide and seek. So there she comes, walking super slow. <laughs> so she doesn't even say anything to us, she just goes ahead and leaves. So here's Professor Elm's lab. We're gonna go up and talk to him. Hi Flaming, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this is... A this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. So we're gonna go ahead and choose our Pokemon. And touch a Pokeball to see what Pokemon is inside. So this one's Chikorita, the grass-type Pokemon. Cyndaquil, the fire-type Pokemon. Or Totodile, the water-type Pokemon. Um, my favorite out of this generation has to be Cyndaquil. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and fix the nipple for my Pokemon. Flaming received Cyndaquil from Professor Elm. Give a nickname to Cyndaquil. Sure. So, I don't really like nicknaming my Pokemon, but I know it's pretty big in Let's Plays. So, I'm just gonna call him Blaze, because. That seems like a pretty good name. Is Blaze the nickname you want to give? Yes. So, unlike any of the other Pokemon games, except for Pokemon Yellow, your Pokemon actually gets to follow you around in this one. And I think they should keep this feature, hopefully they'll bring it back in Pokemon X and Y, but based on the trailers we've seen, it doesn't look like they're going to, so... How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use, just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Flaming. Okay, so this guy is gonna stop us and I believe he gives us potions. Flaming, I want you to have these to help you with your task. So yeah, he gives us potions. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Okay, so we're gonna head out. And there's Lyra again. Maybe this time she'll actually talk to us, because she's supposed to be our friend. Flaming! So you picked a Cyndaquil. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it will become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. So, I'm playing this on... DS Mooney, or Des Mooney, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And I don't remember it normally being this slow. I have an older computer, so I imagine that's why it is so slow. And normally I use no cache Game Boy Advance. But I know a lot of people prefer the quality of Des Mooney, so I figured I'd use it for this playthrough. Oh, Flaming, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see, that sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. Your Pokeyear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. The Pokemon Gear, or Pokeyear, is it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Pokeyear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yes. Just power on the Pokeyear and touch the telephone button, okay? Because I didn't say yes. The names of people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. So yeah, she'll explain it whether you say yes or no. I don't know why they give you the option if they're gonna do that, but they do. So right now, all you can really do is call your mom. 
if you don't have anyone else's phone number, you can go into settings and change it around. So you can make it pink if you like the color pink. Or you can do a kind of like Team Rocket base looking thing. I kind of like this one, so I'll probably leave it on this. So now I think we can finally leave town. Oh no, almost there. Wait a second. Here comes Professor Elm. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. I don't know how he figured out we got our pokey gear just now, but he found out and he wants us to have his number. I'll call you if anything comes up. See, you would think right there he noticed is the person staring through the window of his lab up here. It's like you were just outside and walking around. How could you not notice this guy? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? And then he kicks us out of the way. But, oh well. I guess if anything happens it's Elm's fault, not ours. So here we are on Route 29, and that's probably going to be it for this video because we're already up to 17 minutes, so I'm going to stop it here and I'll see you guys next time.